Karen, thanks for sending your question. Um, to rewrite this expression using rational exponents, we need to go ahead and take a look at our rules over here. So if I have a root, I don't know, an nth root, any number, n stands for any number, and this is the nth root of x, I can rewrite that if I want as x to the 1 over n. So I'm going to take the same number that's here, and I'll just go ahead and move it into an exponent and put it on the bottom. For example, if I had the third root of 4, that'd be the same as having 4 to the 1 third. I just take the root and move it to the bottom term in my exponent. If I already have exponents underneath the square root, they're just going to stay where they are and the bottom's just going to go, the, the root's just going to go on the bottom still. So we're going to rewrite this as 10 to the 8th, except now the exponent's going to have a number in the denominator. Well, that number in the denominator is going to be the same number that's in the root. So this is 10 to the 8 elevenths. So I believe that was, that would be answer number D that you have up here. Thanks again for sending your question, Lauren, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using Snap Math in the future.